All right, so I was asked to do an example of adding um, two fractions with unlike denominators to show how to simplify the answer. So the problem we are doing is two sevenths plus six tenths. So I am going to first show the standard algorithm without the models, and then I will show the one with the models. So first things first, when you are doing standard algorithm, when you're adding or subtracting problems, really when you're doing any type of um, problem that requires you to show work, you're going to have to rewrite your problem from horizontal to vertically. So I'm going to go over here and write it 2 sevenths plus 6 tenths. And then I always leave a bigger line because this is where I'm going to show my work. And I'm actually going to set up my problem. I know that 2 sevenths times a super 1 of something is going to then give me an equivalent fraction. 6 tenths times a super 1 of something will then give me an equivalent fraction. Now, step 1 for when you are adding uh, two fractions with unlike denominators is to find the least common denominator of 7 and 10. So I'm going to go up here. And remember, to do this, to find the least common denominator, you need to count, or you need to use multiples to find it. So by 7, you just count by 7. So it's going to be 7, 14, 21, and this one's going to be long, 28. This is going to be 35, and I'm going to have to probably go under here to write. This one's going to be 42, 49. Oh, I didn't mean to put that. Sorry, I meant to put a comma. After 49, I believe we have... 50, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times is 56, and then we have, and remember, for the multiples, this is really saying 7 times 1, 7 times 2, times 3, times 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7 times 9 is 63, and then 7 times 10 is 70. So I'm going to stop there, because I can already tell you that's going to be my LCD, and then for 10, you're just counting by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So 70 is my LCD, and that is a big number, but that is the smallest number those two numbers have in common. So now I put it in the peanut, and I put my new LCD over here. So that's going to be the new denominator for my equivalent fraction. So now I need to find out what the numerator is. To do that, all you got to do is fill in the blanks. To find out your super one, it's going to be the same number on top as the bottom, and to figure it out, 7 times blank will give me 70. Well, the answer is 10. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And this is why it's called the super one, because I always draw a big, fat, giant super one. And before I multiply that, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this one in. So now you answer the question, 10 times what gives me 70? Well, oftentimes, you're actually just going to be flip-flopping these. Not always, but in this case, we are. 10 times 7 will get me 70. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. Okay, and now I can go ahead and multiply my numerator by my numerator and my denominator by my denominator. 2 times 10 is 20, and then 7 times 10 is 70. 6 times 7 is 42. 10 times 7 is 70. Now I can go ahead and add these two fractions together because they have common denominators. And I know that 20 plus 42 is 62 over 70. So if you presented this answer to me, it would technically be correct However, this fraction is not in simplest form. To put a fraction in simplest form, you need to use what we learned last week, which was prime factorization, to figure out what it is. So to figure out how to put 62 70, 60 70ths in simplest form, you then need to list the factors for it. So um, it helps if you do... This, I know that 62, this one's a bit harder, but I know that 2 times 31 will get me 62, and 70 will be 7 times 10. But even then, you can break up 10. So then I would break up the 10 into 7 times 2 times 5, which is 10 times 7, and then 31 you can only do it once. So 2 times 31 will give me 62, and then 31 times 1 only give me 31. So now this is what you do to figure out if it's in simplest form. You would then have to cross out any factors that you have in common. Well, I can see that I have the 2 in common here, so I'm just going to cancel those out. And then all you do 
with the remaining factors is if you can't get rid of anything else, you just multiply them together to get your um, LCD. And in this case, uh, I think I made, nope, that's correct. So now you just multiply 31 times one is 31. And then seven times five is 35. 6270 is simplest in simplest form is 31 35ths. And that's all you do.